Hi Kiwi, so I'm in the middle of strategizing and I'm going to go to the ranger camp and try to hunt for some specific stickers. Uh, cause I have a- oh, hey, a rumor. Alright, let's, uh, let's see what you have to say first, I guess. Uh, oh, uh, why can I- why can't I talk to you? Come on, let me- why- I'm pressing the button, but it's not working. Oh, there we go. There's a quirky shirtless merchant using visiting the island today. Go to Autumn Hill to find him. Um, if you want a good deal. Alright, so anyway, uh, no other rumors here, but maybe I'll just check out the stickers real quick, see if there are anything I want. Nothing really attractive there. Uh, anyway, uh, Autumn Hill is where the, uh, the sticker merchant is, and he can sell some rare stuff, so why don't we go check him out first. Um, but anyway, I have a plan for a combination of Gooby Dooby and Fun Go using, using Felix, but I need a very specific sticker for it to work. Fancy running into you here, take a look at my catalog if you'd like. Uh, anything here I want? Coding cure. Mm, no, just removes coatings, not interested. Leech is nice, and it's uncommon, so I guess I'll maybe take, yeah, I'll take two of them. Um, and the camouflage, this isn't the camouflage I'm looking for, but I may as well pick it up in case I need it. This is, uh, an uncommon incinerate. That one looks kind of nice. Do I want to use my weed on it? I mean, I have a lot of weed. Yeah, I'll, I'll take uh, two. Having two of every sticker is kind of nice, may as well. Uh, if I can afford it, buy it while I can. Um, I don't know if I really want these these other things though, but eh, I may as well. That one has plus one duration on it. I should definitely take that. Um, do I want air resistance though? I mean, uh, I'm gonna save my resources. I think. Oh boy, the lack of money in these parts sure is something. Catch you later. All right. Well, anyway, so. The sticker that I'm specifically looking for is something called Water Camouflage, which will turn him into a water type on the first turn. I was cycling through my uh, my other monsters in storage, but none of them had it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this vending machine and try to roll for it. Uh, no guarantee, and I have a pretty finite amount of, of metal. Um, but I, I guess probably go for the element sticker pack since that one has elements and water coating as in theory a water type. Uh, we got Haunt, which is nice. I may play around with that. With this. I have a strategy where I might try and use that, but I'm not sold on it yet. Uh, Mountain Smash is decent damage, but none of those were the stickers. Oh, hey! Water Camouflage. Awesome. Okay, so we got what we want, plus we got uh, another Ritual. So I have a possible st strategy involving Ritual, Gambit, and Haunt being used all on the same monster. Um, but for now, uh, that's still a work in progress. Let's check out what these rumors have to say. Have you seen a triangle-headed lizard? It's a Salamagus. I've heard it can uh, it can be seen in Autumn Hill caves. Something big's happening on Autumn Hill. Rangers have been up in a tizzy, or have been returning wounded. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm unfortunately having to record this little segment in post, so I'm trying to dub over it. I know what's going to happen, but... Um, Unfortunately, the recording, I, I didn't get the mic recording. I just have the, the video. Greetings, Jeff. How many different species have Goodness you found gracious. out there? Goodness gracious, 98. Thank you for your work. Here's some compensation for your time. Um, so I'm trying to read. I, I, I did not leave myself enough time to read all this. Come chat with me when you have 100. Don't forget that when you reach five stars, you can get more information about the monsters. Or, or he said something along that night, along those lines, I guess. Or no, they probably can be remastered. He's probably telling us when they can be remastered. Clearly, I can't read as fast as I thought I could. <laughs> Um, but effectively what I did here was I, I kind of recorded just the gameplay because I wasn't planning on recording, but a lot of interesting things happened in this segment, so I wanted to, uh, have it on, 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 uh, camera if I wanted to. I was, I was definitely playing it off for a little bit at the start that I was live, but I don't think I'm going to maintain that in any realistic form. Anyway, we come across a rogue fusion, and I figure I may as well, so I take it on. It's a whole bunch of folk lords. But first, I'm switching up my team a little bit. I'm gonna have Lemonade up front so that I can get echolocation and set up some walls if I need it. Um, but multi-target abilities are always helpful against these these uh, swarms because you want to hit multiples at once. Um, but you can start to see what my strategy for Gooby Tooby is here. I've set up a um, custom starter, which is a passive that lets you have a chance of using the next move underneath it. Uh, activate. I've also given him echolocation similar to Lemonade so that he gains the multi-target status at the start of battle. Now here's the interesting strategy. So, um, charge is the move that I have associated with Custom Starter. Charge on, it own, on its own doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's nice to get some early damage in because that passive activates at the very start of the fight. And so I hit each of the enemies with charge once because of multi-target. 
Echolocation is the first thing that activates, so I get that multi-target status. Then Custom Starter kicks in. Then, on the next turn, I use Battery. Battery's effect is, if Charge was used the turn prior, it crits. Now, this won't be a crit because I didn't use Charge, but Battery still does solid damage, so I'm using it anyway. But, the point here is that, um... Once I get the crit, I also have critical AP at the bottom, which gives me 1 AP every time I crit. So, because battery hits two enemies, it doesn't count, it doesn't give me the it doesn't give me the AP for both crits on each, on the two hits of one battery, but each monster I hit generates two AP. So instead of so I hit one monster twice, eight critical AP activates twice. But not because I hit it twice with battery. I hit it. It only battery only counts once. The using one move that crits, whether it crits once or it crits multiple times within that move, it only counts once per critical AP. So I'm not gaining four AP in one battery. I'm gaining two. But then battery, because of multi-target, hits the next monster, and I get another two AP. So I'm effectively getting four AP every turn I use battery following that switch in, which is kind of nuts. Anywho, that was a bit of a ramble to explain the strategy. There, there's more to the strategy coming up, but this is all I've got so far. Um, things get pretty wild once I get that water camouflage on on uh, Fungo, and you'll see that in, 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 in soon enough because that'll likely be. I'm probably gonna splice this into the episode where I start taking on all the Ranger captains with the strategy once it's fully baked. But the other reason why I'm recording here is just so that you can see the. Um, the Rogue Fusion that I found, which ended up having a uh, bootleg, uh, what's it called? Um, totally blanking on its name, but uh, Trifinx, I think it is. Uh, Trifinx. It's a bootleg ice type Trifinx fused with a Folklord. So I end up uh, fighting this out. Unfortunately, it gets the Hypnotize, which. Sleep is an absolutely devastating status ailment in this game. It just you just you fall asleep and you're stuck doing nothing for three full turns, and it is it is so frustrating to deal with. And, and there are sleep cures, and I need to start carrying more on me because my goodness, do they do they matter? And they don't use up your turn either. You cure sleep and then you can fight again. Um, but this thing's going to be spamming wonderful seven, which not only has a pretty darn solid base damage, it um. It has a random status ailment every time, but you're going to see that it keeps getting the status ailments that are most inconvenient for me. Um, but here's where I realized that uh, sleep cures are a thing, and I should be using them immediately. So I go ahead and do that. I wake up, and I use uh, Boil to get some damage off. Um, hopefully, Hoping for the burn, which I don't think is guaranteed here, and I also forgot that Boil um, can uh, boost, boost in Ice-type's defenses. Uh, so I kind of mess up here and make things even harder for myself, and then the burn that I get from the Wonderful 7 knocks Lotad out. So all in all, just kind of an unideal situation, but we, we keep going with it. I'll probably play this fight out in real time in commentary just because I don't quite remember what happens aside from what I catch at the end of this, but we're going to switch out to Bombardier here. Um, pro we'll use Inflame to melt and make him a water type. And, I mean, Felix is unfortunately confused, so whether he chooses to use the move I want him to use or not is anyone's guess. My ideal hope when I used Boil with Lotad was to try and get the, um, the burn, and that's why I used it. I didn't get it. But here, on the bright side, now I can spam Inflame and I can spam Icicle Dart. And I do mess up a little bit here because I intended to have Icicle Dart go first. For some reason, I thought um, Lemonade would be faster, but it seems like what I've now realized is... Um, the, the allies that you have in this game, they get a stat boost for using their starter. So if this was Kaylee, Kaylee would actually likely be faster than Pomadeer because she'll get a flat 10% boost to all of her stats if she's using uh, Serenade or its, its remastered form. Um, at least that's my assumption. I know for a fact that's how it works with Felix because I base the strategy around that fact using Fun Go, as I mentioned. Um, and again, you'll see that later in, later in this episode after this bit is over. Um, but anyway, we find, we managed to knock out uh, Trifinx and Folklord's fusion um, by kind of alternating fire and ice to melt and then freeze. And every time we freeze, it flinches, which is a pretty effective strategy for just making your opponents not be able to play the game. Plus, if you get multi-target going with this sort of setup, it's it's kind of brutal. 
Um, but with all that said, unfortunately we do lose Lemonade here. Um, barely any red health damage done to Felix, so we're fine. We're going to knock out Folklore just to keep that from being an issue, and then we can focus on the monster we're actually trying to catch. I switched back into Gooby too because at this point Fungo really has nothing for us. And as you can see, we got Custom Starter, so it's going to get Conductive and take some damage there. And that's the, that's the other thing about this strategy is it's not just getting the ton of AP, the crits on battery, and, and the, the damage. This build is going to go into the idea of spreading Conductive to every possible monster on the, uh, like every target I can. And that damage is going to add up immensely. So what I go for here is the battery with the crits. Uh, and the conductive damage while Jeff tries to record and we have a hundred percent chance But of course RNG being what RNG is puts Jeff to sleep Which nullifies his catch catch chance to effectively zero as far as I'm concerned if you're asleep You can't record things I could be mistaken here But given the few instances where that has been relevant. I have not caught a single monster and uh, Almost 80% chance of catching there. It's likely that just wasn't gonna happen so I go for the record here with Felix. It's a 45% chance, and of course this guy is going to keep wailing on Jeff. Thankfully, so Felix has a chance to catch it. Uh, will he catch it? No, of course not, because this is RNG, and right now RNG is not my friend. Um, so I decide to say I'm not dealing with this sleep status. I'm going to heal, and I'm going to play super risky and try to record on Jeff, which is a terrible decision because one, if he gets put to sleep, well, the, the recording is going to fail, but even then, it doesn't even matter. If Jeff gets targeted here, he's just going to get knocked out, and I think the battle's over if Jeff gets knocked out. Um, if your partner gets knocked out, I, like, I haven't proven this. I, it could be that it's similar to how it was before, where if your partner is okay, you uh, you could keep fighting, but I have a suspicion that if the main character gets knocked out, you're in a, you, you just lose. Regardless, we managed to catch the bootleg, thankfully. Uh, Trifinx Ice Type with some really good stickers, actually. A lot of these are awesome. Wonderful 7 is super strong. Broadcast is a not a guaranteed multi-target, but it, it's a, it, or it's not a passive multi-target, but it's still more multi-target. Close Encounter was interesting. It makes your uh, your I, I forget what it does, but you could, if you read, you could see it. I apologize. I was too busy rambling to think. And then I come, I try to come up with a name for it and. Uh, in typical fashion, I don't know what I came up with, but here we are, 4873. There we go. Welcome to the team, 4873. Why is that your name? Because Jeff said so, and when Jeff comes up with the name, there's no turning back. And just as a little bit more salt in the wound, just to end this fight out that was already an arduous task, it self-destructs and knocks out Gooby Tooby, because why not? Why not just let that happen? But uh, th that's kind of it. Now we just go back to the... Uh, we go back to heal and check to make sure that we're not missing any dialogue with Felix before we do so. And I do believe we get a new... I, I don't think we get anything new here, but um, let, let's just see real quick. And that's where the recording will end. And then we'll transition into the live recording after that. Felix muses about food that he's not able to eat at New World. Your broken tapes have been repaired. All right, Kiwi. So that's where this video roughly ends. So uh, I'll pick up in the uh, in the next one. Hi Kiwi, alright we are back at it, I have made some strategies happen, this is what our party is going to look like for now, uh, no idea how this is going to work, so we're going to test it out live, and to start we're going to go back and have a rematch against that uh, ranger captain and see what happens with this. So, heading to Isington Station, and let's go ahead and take our best shot at this guy. Hey. Sir Ranger Captain, you've returned to battle your most challenging opponent ever, am I right? Challenging him to rematch. <laughs> now you're not a newbie. I don't have to limit the power of my super hacked monster tapes. Alright, so here's how the strategy works. We're starting with Bonavin. For really one move and one move alone. If I get more with it, then we'll see, but. See, so. Alright, Bonavin didn't get it, but we got water camouflage on Fungo and custom starter, so now that's gonna be a water type. Alright, so that's step one. Step two, we're going to go ahead and use Deja Vu on Bonavin and we're going to swap Fungo out to Gooby Tooby. <laughs> so Gooby Tooby has Echolocate, which makes him multi-target on the first turn. He also has an ability called Custom Starter, which gives him a chance to use the next move in line after Custom Starter, which is Charge. 
as we've discovered already, the way charge works is on the next turn, if I use battery, it does crits. And this is where the strategy really comes in. So allow me to demonstrate what's going to happen here. Okay, so we're going to switch Bonavin to Fungo. And we're going to have GoobyTube use battery. Now take a look at this. So I have critical AP. Gain one AP each time you land a crit hit. Battery is a guaranteed crit, and it hits both of these guys. Plus, they're conductive, so they're going to take even more damage. Uh, at least Apocalypse will. So check this out. Fungo gets water camouflage, may get the paint coating, gets the paint swipe, so now this guy's a water type too, he's going to get conducted as well. And the damage is going to stack like no tomorrow. So here we go. Alright, the AP drain's a little bit bad, but it's fine. So, in theory, this is going to do a ton of damage, and I'm going to get a ton of AP back in the process. So there's two AP, conductive damage, conduct... Conductive damage stacking is broken in this game, I have to say. Alright, so we didn't take him out in one turn, but that's kind of the strategy I came up with. It's primarily Gooby Tooby and, um, and Fun Go. But there's more. Because, not only can I do that, what I've also set up myself up for is, so let's switch this guy out to, uh... Do I keep Fungo in, or do I switch him out? He also has battery, by the way, because I thought that would be funny. Um, we're going to switch him out. We're going to switch him to Bonavin again. Mm, let's switch him to Lotad. Does he... Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to switch him so he can tank the hit. We'll, uh, we'll switch to Lotad. Uh, or, I'm going to do Bonavin so he can get the stats up. All right. GoobyTuby has Snow Rush. With multi-target, or the echolocation passive, I can now flinch these guys so that they can't move the next turn. That said, GoobyTuby's pretty hurt, so we're probably going to swap him out as well. So let's... So one switching to Bonavin. I'm going to switch the other one to Pombadier. Oh, wait. Uh, Alright, you switch to Bonavin. And you switch to... Pombadier. Okay, there we go. Last Rites activates. Rest in peace, Cody. <laughs> so they've made it so he can't take any red health damage, it seems, which is fair, because, I mean, it would be kind of lame to just gimmick the boss that way. But what just happened was Bonavin has a ability called uh, Random Starter. Every time he enters the field, he has a chance of using one of his abilities. Literally, he has passive or like status uh, be benefits. He has smack, and he has the strongest hitting melee attack in the game. So, sure, he could use smack. Sure, he could use any of these passes. But we just saw him roll <laughs> last rites, which is pretty funny. Regardless, uh, that knocked out our kid, which is great. Uh, but here's what we're gonna do here now. Um, I'm gonna have Bonavin use another round of Deja Vu. Or actually, I'm gonna have Bonavin use Gambit. And the reason for that is after that. We're going to use Dog Ears on, on Bonavin. Alright, so Crystal Lens transforms us into last types if we were glittered, but we're not. So, Gambit raises our... <laughs> that was kind of funny, that multi-strike did that too. So, alright, so hear me out. Gambit raises our defense, and it raises our attack stats. Dog Ears extends the duration of that effect. And now what happens? We switch back out to Gooby Tooby. Gooby Tooby's pretty low, so this isn't ideal, but you get the idea, right? It's pretty funny. What I can probably do here, if I get it off, is Beast Wall. And the reason why Beast Wall, wall is so good, and I'm only using that right now instead of the other walls, is Beast Types are neither super effective nor super weak. Against, or beast, I guess Beast Types are effective against Glass Type, but Beast Types have no elemental disadvantages. Which means we can protect Bonovan. Or Gooby Tooby, rather. But now, check this out. We switch in, they're having a real bad time. Because there's the conductive damage. Then we get multi-strike. Then we get multi-target. So we're just spamming attacks everywhere. Darn it. Okay, they took out Gooby Tooby, which isn't ideal. But And they took out... Okay, fair enough. We couldn't get the wall off in time, but it's fine. Um, we switch out to our next round. So, 
We'll switch into Fungo so he can get his passives going. Now, I should have had Felix transform into this guy, actually, because that would be um, more ideal. But this should turn both of them into water types because I have multi-target. There we go. Okay, and now I can... I don't really have anyone who's effective against water types once scooby Tooby gets taken out, unfortunately. Um, but actually, I lied. We have this. Multi-target. We're going to swap you out to Lotad again. We're going to Icicle Dart, and that will flinch both of them with the multi-target status. Okay, so they're going to fuse. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Artillaborus. Glitter Bomb. Okay. So they're sticking with their usual strategy. But effectively what I've done is I have made a team synergy that multiple parts can affect. Oh yeah, also this guy has a uh, passive where roll again, chance to automatically use another move at random at the end of the turn, so we can get some free damage. We also have Hypnotize, and really those are the main things. But here we have Woodcutter, which will give us the Leech status on this guy, so we can use that for more damage against him as well. And I'm not even fused yet. Um, but I'm going to keep rolling for Icicle Dart to try and get the stun off. Glass Cannon does a lot of damage. Oh, a lot, a lot of damage. And it has multi-target, which isn't ideal, but here we hope for the flinch, and we actually landed the hit this time, so it's frozen. Okay. Uh, but here's here's where it gets kind of funny. Potentially. Switch out to Fungo, get the water camouflage. Now he gets water typed again. Which unfortunately does actually kind of buff him, so I didn't account for that. But like I said, this is all proof of concept, you know? We're going to battery him and get as much damage off as we can that way, I think, here. Um, he's not he's still flinched, so he won't be able to move next turn, which is great for us. We do battery for damage, and then we keep spamming Icicle Dart to try and stall it out. Alright, so the one downside to the strategy that I'm already realizing is that it does require me to... Ah, uh, man... One, I don't have any good Ice-type moves on on Lemonade, so unfortunately if Icicle Darts miss, I, misses, I don't get the flinch, which is a big problem. But with all that said, um, that's why I honestly gave Gooby Tooby the, uh, the Ice move. I am going to hopefully eventually get a sticker that I can replace Icicle Dart with, I just didn't have anything in, in that I could at the time. So I think for safety reasons we're gonna we're gonna fuse here and then heal. So Jeff and Felix's hearts act as one. Fun bell. Look at that mustache. Now unfortunately they're gonna get the resonance and I didn't account for that. But we're gonna we're just gonna have to go for fusion power and hope that it kills and that we're faster. And if it puts him to sleep, that's a really good potential. Ah, unluckily he got the attack first and finishes off with the with the 69. Oh well. Unlucky. So so all that's left is Bonovan then. Alright, not ideal. But he can't touch me now. And I got parry stance. Okay. So, since we're already ghost, we're just gonna go for uh, saving up AP as much as possible. We're gonna barely do any damage. But the more AP we generate... The sooner we get last rights, and the more damage we'll do from that. Hopefully. My ghost didn't go down a turn, because, uh... Interesting. I'm not sure why it didn't go down a turn. But maybe only because... Maybe, maybe it got activated, and then... Well, <laughs> let's see what happens. We'll do smack again. So we're untouchable here. Lost my parry stance. Does my ghost tick down? My ghost tick down, ticks down now. Alright, hopefully, he just lost all of his defensive passives, so unless he has multiple more mo more multiple monsters, this should end him. There we go. So, just like in my history with competitive Pokemon, I was in a very bad spot, but my ghost type starter, or my like my partner Pokemon in, in crime, wins the battle at the very end. So, you... you and this is a new move. Final breath. If your HP is above 80% or, and you receive an attack that would reduce it to zero, you survive... Okay, so it's Endure. It's, it's basically indoor for Pokemon. But anyway, so clearly uh, the, the strategy is there. It didn't quite work out the way I hoped, but it was fun to kind of put it to paper and see how it played out. 
And who knows, maybe he's just a bad matchup what? because he uses um, Resonance as his offensive option. Let's see, Death shall have no Dominion. Beat him a second time. There must have been something wrong with my calculations. My strategy is supposed to be unbeatable. Uh. That's what I would want to, would say if I was mad, which I'm not. I'm not mad about it at all. So, that strategy... I lost to him in my last attempt from RNG. This time I won against him from RNG because uh, if I had gotten any other passive act, any other random starter uh, than Haunt, I would have lost. But with all that said, it's it's that's what I've come across so far. I'm really happy with the Gooby Tooby hmm. Fun Go combo. The rest were kind of just using what stickers I have. I need a lot more stickers before I can really play around with fun synergies. But I, the, the Gooby Tooby one is ridiculously broken if I pull it off properly. And the whole idea of having Deja Vu on top of that, if I got one more um, custom starter ability, the, the one that lets me passively use a move before the battle even starts, that's when the game is over. Because just multi strike, multi target means I'm hitting each enemy twice each turn, and then battery hits twice as well. So. I, I don't even know what's going to happen when that happens, but it'll be pretty funny when it does. <laughs> Regardless, um, let's see what Felix has to say. Do you think that different worlds can have different logics? What do you mean? Like, okay, the cassette tapes that record monsters, how do you think that works exactly? Um, they feel magic to me. The cassette players are enchanted with magic. I mean, is magic real here? I don't exactly see wizards flying around shooting spells at each other. Have you not noticed me, like, flying around with my butterfly wings shooting zappies at, electri at electrodes and metal cubes? Because I'm pretty sure you have. I'm a wizard. <laughs> As far as I can tell, these cassette players are just regular old-fashioned cassette players. My old man used to have that one that have one that looks similar. From what I've been told, the Rangers found a bunch of them in the abandoned mall a few years back, and that's where the island supply comes from. So I guess that's why I ask if you think a world can have its own logic. Maybe mundane items from our worlds can have different rules than this. <laughs> what a concept. I'm definitely using that in my story. You're writing a new story? It's no big deal right now, it's just some ideas I'm playing around with. If it becomes something more substantial, I'll let you know. Maybe we could get back to adventuring. It'll give some more thought it'll give me some more ideas, that's for sure. Fusions you form with Felix now have 15% more strength. Alright. And our broken tapes have been repaired. Okay. So <laughs> there were definitely some funny RNG happenstances with that build, but um it's a work in progress, if nothing else, and it was fun to test out. I, I think this this game has such a breadth of opportunity for experimentation. I can't wait to see what more I come up with down the road. But for now, uh, I'm going to end here, and then I'll splice in another video. See you soon, love. All right, we are back. Let us continue. So we've got our new party set up. We just beat our... Uh, what was his name? Eugene? No, not Eugene. I've already forgotten. Uh, the guy that was down over this way. So let's find our way to another... Um, another leader. There's one over this way, but I think I'll hit the one that's in the water area first, because it'll be harder to travel to that later. So let's go fly up here. In theory. There we go. I'll worry about wild encounters later. For now, I'm on a... Uh, not a catching team so much as a uh, kill all the things team. Because <laughs> we haven't gotten this yet. Let's grab this. Earth camouflage. Nice. Uh, and a little way back up there. Cool. Alright, so it looks like there's something over this way. So let's try and fly and see what happens. Aha! Uh -huh, secret. A floating aisle. There's someone here. This is pretty fantastical, huh? Alright, so some wild monsters, some Stonehenge type stuff. What are you about? You're a trainer. Let's do it. <laughs> Tamer. Pom bomb are easy to tame if you know how. You gotta give them belly rubs and head pets. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here's where the. Uh, we'll be testing out our build a little bit more as we go. <laughs> but we're just immediately just making these guys have a bad time. So, I want to try something else this time. I want to use Mind Meld and see how this works. And we're going to switch out to Gooby Tooby to get the uh, the battery run starting. <laughs> so, like I said earlier, I really, really like the strategy that I came up with Gooby Tooby, but I think there's more to it than that if I 
if I can use mine well, well, I guess the real question is, does it affect passives? Alright, so I now share moves with my allies, but how does that work? Do I have anything... Alright, so I can use his abilities. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch into Fungo again and have him use his abilities that are built to happen, and we'll use Battery here. And just like that, this guy is going to be made short work of. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, Mind Meld. Oh, I was afraid that was going to work, but it worked. So now I can use Gooby Tooby's strategy on two monsters at the same time, which is insane. Because hey. I can do that on Lotad then. Here, boy. Oh, she's calling. Hey. I'm like, what? What? She's talking to her uh, dog. I'm going to assume you can find wild Spitfire, Spitfires here. Or not. Oh, wow, that's a level 70. I think we're in an area that we might be... A little bit outside of our pay grade. That is a strong doggo. Although, not strong enough to survive a paint attack. <laughs> a paint swipe, I guess. Over before it began. Win a battle before it starts. Oh, cool. We got an achievement for that and a whole lot of pulp. This is a good place to farm pulp, I guess. Um, but let's see. Is there anything over here? Just a chest. Oh. Uh-oh. Alright. So, clock dam. Obviously, this is, uh... I think Robin Dam, and then I forgot what the name of the other monster is, but the one that uh, Eugene started with, probably. So, yeah, we're gonna use uh, Mind Meld every chance we can then, and then we're gonna swap you out to Gooby Tooby to start laying in the damage. Spring Loaded, if I recall the way that works, is it makes it so all of your melee attacks scale with your range damage, which is. I, I, when I was uh, when I was reviewing monsters for who I wanted on the team, I was actually considering Robin Dam because he has the highest range attack of anyone in the uh, in our storage at the moment. It had a base 200. Yeah, it it had a base 200 range attack, I believe, which was pretty crazy. I think. Yeah, we got. Uh, so hopefully we're faster here. I'm not convinced we are, and unfortunately because of the AP down, I can't do much with. Uh, Bonavin, so we're gonna swap back in. Let's see what happens if we give Lotad a <laughs> charge. Uh, the, the setup that I have with Gooby Tooby. And hopefully, Gooby Tooby's faster and we can get the battery off here. But, yep, custom starter charge, do some damage there, conductive chips it in. Ah, shoot, I got the attack off first, so we're gonna lose Gooby Tooby here. But it's honestly fine. Never mind, Felix is hurting. <laughs> we almost hypnotized him, wow. Alright, well, uh, let's swap in Bonovan. And now Bonovan can't get hit, so we should be fine. But, not really much I can do, because I have AP down, unfortunately. I didn't account for this. Alright, like I said, really the only strategy I really thought about was the Fungo and um, Gooby Tooby combo. But I think I think there's a lot to work with, and we'll, we'll get there piece by piece. For now, though, let's try and, I guess, save AP, so let's use Leech here, uh, and I guess I can use these, so I don't need to use Leech because I'm going to get the, I'll get it from using Woodcutter here. I definitely just tried to hit Bonovan, which is a choice. We should be healing pretty well now. The monsters here are pretty darn strong. Oh, I did the thing where I'm like, oh, it's a it's a bootleg. I should catch it. I still haven't learned, have I? Roll again with the smack and the AP down. Nice. All right, so we want to take out Cloxley first because that one actually uh, can be annoying for Bonovan. But actually, now that I say that, I realize also Bonovan can't get hurt by any of it. So. Lotad's in a bad, uh, in a bad way with no AP, so... I think for now, let's just try and hypnotize Robin Dam and take out Cloxley with Bonovan. To do that, we'll have Bonovan use Boil, I think. Because this will ignite it and probably kill it in one turn. 
Wait. Oh, right. Multi-target. I'm like, why didn't I, uh, sleep Robin to him? But it's fine. We should be able to get some solid damage off, and it's not stunned anymore, which means it's probably going to get a hit off on us, which isn't ideal. Um, but here's what we do. We switch out to Fun Go, and he can do a hit that way, I think is what we'll do. And then Bonavin is, is safe, so... It looks like because he's switching out, I can't have access to the partner's ability, so we'll just use Smack for this turn, and we'll have last rights on the next turn. Assuming it survives, which it shouldn't. Even if it's the same type, this should do a fair bit of damage. Pain Swipe's got a pretty high base damage. Nice. There we go. Now, what was in the chest? Deep Freeze. Freezes the opponent's cassette player, inflicting them with Tape Jam status effect. I forget what that does some wheat. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of fused material. Alright, so... Ooh. You look spooky. I guess this may be a battle, but I don't want it to despawn, because I'm worried about certain things despawning. So let's let's use a respool for safety reasons. Get Gooby Tooby back up to snuff. And now you're in a lead spot. No? Alright. Um, we'll heal Bonovan with a rewind as well. And Lotad. I mean, we have the rewinds and we have the resources to buy more. We may as well just top ourselves off. Alright, let's see what you are. Cloak figure. You. Do you call yourself a hero? That role is a heavy crown to wear. Are you truly ready for it? <laughs> this conversation is off to an enigmatic start. Please continue. No, I do not sense that you are a hero. Alright, so this is definitely endgame content. Which would explain <laughs> why I have uh, encountered things that are far above my level right now. So I guess let us go fly over this way and see if we can find our a, a rematch against that gym leader from earlier. Man, you can travel so far with uh, with all of the archangels boosting your stamina at this hey. point. Captain Heather, my forecast was correct. You're a ranger captain now. This is a perfect time for a rematch, don't you think? Captain, uh, challenge Captain Heather to a rematch. You bet. Fabulous. So I remember her strategy was spamming fog, and, and one other weather condition, which I can't remember. Oh, I forgot about Felix's red health. We can't rewind that. So that's a bit of a problem. That said, thankfully he chose the right one to water coat, because water coating Spooky Yona would have given her a defense boost. Bonovan didn't get any um, passives off yet, but we're going to go ahead and use Deja Vu, and then we're going to switch out to Gooby Tooby. And hopefully this will do some solid damage before they cast the Fog, because once Fog is cast, we won't really be able to get away with what we're doing with Gooby Tooby. But now both of them will be conductive and take a fair bit of damage to start. And in theory, even if I miss with my electric attacks, this lowers accuracy, I think. Snowed in. Does that mean I can't do melee attacks? Oh no. That kind of throws my strategy out the window, doesn't it? Well, okay, okay. But it went after us, so we're fine. I guess? I, I forget what that does, but none the ma uh, no matter. I accidentally meant... I actually meant to use uh, Mind Meld this turn, but that's fine. Alright, so let's swap Gooby Tooby out for Fun Go. Um, it will give Yuki Yona, Spooky Yona a defense boost, though. Which isn't ideal. So, ideal. so what if I switch... Nah, I, I think I think I'm holding to my my plan. We'll mind meld this turn with Bonovan, and Gooby Tooby will battery to get a bunch of damage off on both of them. Ah, shoot, they get an They were able to attack with Avalanche first this time, which I believe means I cannot melee attack here. That that okay. So we found a hard counter to my strategy, which is pretty cool. I, I guess. Okay, but. Their strategy only works until I swap and get the, the, like, booting in sort of passive. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna swap Bonovan to Fungo. I'm gonna accept that this is going to boost the damage of, or the defenses of Spookyona, but I think it's worth it, because what we're gonna also do is we're gonna switch to Pombadir, who's gonna take a heavy hit from Zephyr, but I wanna get Dog Ears off on Jeff. If I can get that off, we're gonna be sitting pretty for the next turn for the next couple turns. And besides, Pain Swipe does some pretty solid damage. And now we have multi-target too. <laughs> and we have 
the passive starters from Deja Vu. So, okay. Or not Deja Vu. This is from uh, Custom Starter. So, see, we, we got a whole bunch of damage there. It was pretty solid. Oh, no. It's stealing fun ghost stuff now, too. <laughs> and because it did the water coating, I guess it doesn't get the benefit of being an ice type. So we got all that damage off just from switching in. This strategy is basically just constantly switch in, switch out. Alright, but watch what happens now, because we have multi-strike and multi-target on Jeff, which means when Gooby Tooby switches in, the damage is going to start raining. Um, but also what I wanted was to use Dog Ears on Jeff. <laughs> Just watch all the damage collect. It's kind of crazy. That will make us a uni target, but we still have a bunch of multi target stacks left, so we're fine. And there's Dog Ear, so everything's been extended. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, this is a fun strategy. I like this strategy a lot. It doesn't look like it extended Deja Vu, though. And, or maybe it only extended it by one. We could keep spamming that, though, in theory. Unfortunately, it persists the no melee damage, so... Hmm. That bit is unideal. Dog Ears extended the can't use a melee attack, which is a bit of a problem. But I think we're fine. Because... I have access to non or to range attacks, which still aren't great for me, but I can use them. For now, let's switch out. Let's switch to Lotad. Uh, do I want that? Yeah, Gooby Tooby can't do much. Let's switch to Lotad for now, or let's switch to Fungo. I don't think he'll be able to use his Paint Swipe because he has the no melee effects, but we'll see. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and use a Pustule Bomb to get some uh, additional chip damage off. Now, can I use Paint Swipe here? I assume... Yes, no day. Fair enough. That's fine. Unfortunately, because I extended the melee hit... Okay, it doesn't stack. Okay, good, good. So now we know for a fact that that doesn't stack, which is great. But getting more status ailments on these guys will chip their HP away pretty rapidly. Especially Spooky Onion, who's notoriously tanky. But... Let's see... What are we going to do here? I think... We'll do the paint swipe here, just to get this one to be a water-coated enemy, so we can get more conductive off on it. And then we're going to switch to Scooby Tooby and just watch the damage fall in. Alright, that takes care of Spooky Ona. Presumably she has one more, though. <laughs> it's so funny. It, it doesn't matter if it can heal because it's just I, we just kill it on arrival, pretty much. All right, I, I very much like this strategy. And pain swipe should knock this out. And that's it for her monsters, right? No, she's got one more. Okay. <laughs> oh man, this is wild. The winds are shifting in my favor. You best believe it. All right, we no longer have mind meld. All right, so she's using a... I forget what... Uh, Zeus something? I, th I think it was Zeus themed. Um, but still nothing that I can't resist. So, switch out to Bonavin to recast mind meld. And we'll use battery here because I used charge on the last turn. So this should get a bunch of Chris, which will... Well, we're already full AP. This is all the reason why I have Blast Rites on Bonavin, actually, is because I figured that would um, <laughs> let us really do some funny things with the full AP. But, alright, let's see. So what I want here is... Yeah, why don't we just use Last Rites here? And then for Gooby Tooby, you're kind of in an icky spot, so... Let's switch out to Fungo and get the um, water camouflage water uh, transformation going. Because now this will... Or 
in our advantage. Probably is, now we get lowered accuracy. Hopefully Last Rice doesn't miss, but if it does, oh well. Okay, that's some good damage. Oh, <laughs> yep. And also, those were the other parts of Bonavin's strategy. AP refund, so there's a chance he gets all of the AP spent on on that on last rights, plus a chance to reuse it with re a, with a um, the reroll ability. Okay, metal coating. Not interested in that, but all right, that's another gym leader beat. A thunderous victory once again. I expected nothing less from you, of course. Avalanche. All melee attacks fail this round. Alright, so we got access to that, and it's an uncommon version. So that's one thing I, I, I learned about um, since playing last, is that um, stickers can have uncommon and rare variants, and rares sure are rare. I have not found many at all so far, but what's, what's important here to note is that um, the stickers that are of those type, meaning uncommon or rares, get additional passives. And so, for example, I, I noticed this before with Bonavin when we started with him and he had Battering Ram and it was a different text color and had like a deal more damage under these conditions. Or like It was like deal more damage if you had uh, empty slots. So here, for example, these green name stickers, AP Refund, gives more experience and has a 7% increased chance of uh, activating Gambit. 14% priority chance, so per empty slot, so not really that amazing, but um, priority, I believe, just means goes first, so like a quick attack in Pokemon. Um, so the big one here is Gooby Tooby uh, has nothing, never mind. Who was it? Uh, I think I found a really nice, yeah, I found a really nice Inflame for, that I put on Lemonade, uh, which has 15% crit chance per empty slot and critical hit regardless on, on type advantage, which will be really good. Especially if I'm doing this Icicle Dart uh, Water Camouflage gimmick that I've got going for myself. But I think before we take on this Ranger Captain, we should probably find a place to heal. So, despite having just come from there, I'm going to fly over here and find that campfire real quick. There we go. Camp here, please. Yes. Also, the reason why I'm using Felix is I real I was looking when I was researching teams. I discovered um, uh, that when I that he gets a 10% stat boost to all stats when using Fungo or Brushroom, the uh, pre-evolution, pre pre remaster, if you will. Anyway, let's go ahead and rest. Anything to say, Felix? Hmm. I've been thinking about what Kaneko said about how ideas grow on their own. It got me thinking. All the monsters on New World have been on my mind for a reason I haven't been able to really express until now. What do you mean? The monsters here have traffic cones on their backs, trash cans for bodies, and televisions for heads. Do you think images and myths we can we have can become so widespread that they can physically manifest as beings in other worlds like this one? Sounds pretty fantastical. If this process is real, then maybe it's also not an exact science. Maybe it's chaotic and unpredictable. Maybe images and concepts can combine to create unusual results, or maybe sometimes the ideas that manifest into reality don't have to be widespread. <laughs> Maybe sometimes all it takes is a pencil sketch that a dork in Canada drew when he was a kid. <laughs> Maybe I'm starting to understand this world a bit more. Cool. Shall we finish up here? Alright. We've almost maxed out our relationship points with Felix. Cool. Alright, so I think what I'll do is I'll do one more gym leader, and then depending on what time it is, we may end the video a little early. Mostly because I think I have, a, I have two different videos to splice into this one, and I think that adds up to about 20 minutes to... 25 minutes ish amount of content. Um, and so I don't want to make this episode super long. I did that with a uh, Hollow Knight video recently, and uh, how do we even get up? Oh, right. Pull the lever and then fly. Or not. It's fine. We can get the rest of the way up here this way. We really don't use that ability very much at all, do we? Um, but let's see. I think we're all set. I have noticed that Bonavin has not been very lucky with rolling any of his abilities, because I I only, I mean, it's only a small chance, but what I did with Bonavin is I gave him random starter so he can use any of his abilities randomly at the start of the turn, uh, of the fight. He really hasn't rolled that very much at all, but regardless, uh, I may have to mess around with that a bit more. Maybe I don't want all of these things. Maybe I give up Haunt or, or Deja Vu and just keep Mind Meld, because Mind Meld alone is just game-breaking, I've discovered now. Um, maybe what I do is I use Mind Meld and then just have, like, roll again nonstop. That would be pretty quiet, uh, crazy. 
or, or AP starter, honestly. Um, every time Bonovan switches in, the other teammates get a ton of AP, for example. Because, um, oh gosh, Gooby Tooby with last rights on his build would be insane. Regardless, I'm, I'm still theory crafting. There are a lot of options ahead of us. But for now, why don't we go ahead and take on Hello. Gladiola? They are saying that you're the new ranger captain. Perhaps you wish to sharpen your skills with me once more? Yes. Now, Very if I recall, well. she uses a lot of uh, metal type monsters. Draw your sword, Captain. Mistress of Blades. Yeah, so. Just getting a little damage off, it's fine. Right, who's gonna get coded? It looks like the partner? Yep, okay, cool. So that'll corrode them, but then also convert them to water type, so they're gonna be in a real bad spot when Gooby Tooby switches out. So, mind meld on Bonovan, and then we're gonna swap out to Gooby Tooby right away. That'll get both of them conductive. Now obviously this strategy isn't foolproof, we proved in the previous turn that Avalanche very much hard counters us if used appropriately, but we can switch out if we don't have that status ailment going and we're fine. Um, oh right, I remember what they do, they use Jagged Edges, so if I use a melee attack I'll take damage for missing. Um, <laughs> that said though, I'm not too worried about that at this point. Let's see, alright, let's switch out to Fun Go to try and transform the other one into a water type. And we're gonna just go ahead and do the battery and, and see what happens. But uh, so anything that counteracts melee attacks or punishes melee attacks for missing or anything of that nature. Now, keep in mind, conductive I think would still trigger each time I use a uh -oh, an electric type move. So even if I miss, they're gonna take a lot of damage. But yeah, this strategy seems a bit broken. <laughs> now that I've kind of fallen into the full potential of it with the, sw the constant switch outs. But other things that would probably be resistant to this, anything that resists or gets benefits from hitting, getting hit by electric types, um, which I don't think are very many, honestly. I'm, I'm trying to think of who would, who gets buffed. Probably plastic types, probably glass types. Maybe earth types? But even then, I mean, it doesn't reduce the damage, it just might block the conductive status or um, reduce the damage taken. So... What do I do here? I could just use battery on both of them and it would be pretty funny what happens next. Honestly, let's do it. Alright, the accuracy down... I guess I probably should have accounted for that. But let's see. Let's see what happens. Alright, so Jagged Edge there. Alright, so Southpaw takes the damage and now Gladiola should take some conductive damage. Now Fungo is going to copy and use battery because he used charge on the last turn, and if he didn't miss, that would have done a lot of damage. Oh well. Oh, you have a glass stain. Nice. Okay, so we're going to switch Fungo out to Bonovan. And we're going to switch Gooby Tooby out to Lotad. Now the downside to this is, unfortunately, I don't really have a good switch out when both of the both Fungo and and Gooby Tooby are on the field. So that's the one downside to the strategy. Alright, so they're fusing. This is gonna be a little spooky. Cryo stain. Give you smack. Alright, so they are a <laughs> that's funny. Oof. Yeah, that uh those jagged edges are a problem now. Alright, so what do I do here? I think I'm gonna have Bonovan use... We need to melt this guy. That's the that's the first and foremost most important thing. We need to melt him so that he's no longer an ice type. Because I don't want to buff his defenses on the next turn when I use switch out to Fungo. I don't have anyone who can... Um, do that though. Do that though. Uh, uh, out right now. Plus, Lotad is, is, is uh, stunned, which isn't ideal. I think what we're going to do is we're going to use Gambit here. Bonovan's already got the... Oh no, Felix. He was stunned, so I thought I... Uh, okay, this is bad. Alright. I think we're just going to keep Bonovan as such. 
They don't have any extra evasion right now, so we're just going to use uh, Last Rites and hope this does a ton of damage. And doesn't miss. And we get AP refund. Nice. Okay, that's a lot of damage. And we got the AP back. So we're just going to keep doing that, I think. <laughs> it would be funny if I could use Deja Vu, but we're going to lose Bonavin on the next turn, so I don't want to risk it. We'll just keep trying to deal damage this way. Oh, this is going to miss. Dang. And Jagged Ash Edge hits through Ghost. Fair enough. Alright, I have to be very careful how I approach this going forward. Uh, I think we go for the Fun Go. Oh, it's going to have full AP this turn. I think it's going to one-shot us and red health us, but let's see what we get. Okay, good. We, we, I'm going to accept that it gets the melee defense, because we need to get it a water type so we can conductive it. Well, actually, I guess ice types get conductive as well, but... And, and I guess I could have gimmicked it because it was glass type. I could have kept using, uh, I could have used, uh, what's her face? Um. No matter. Uh, we lost Felix, which is a problem. I'm really worried what their, uh, their next attack is going to do to us. I'm going to try, I'm probably going to lose Fungo. I expect it to one-shot us, but I'm going to try and keep it my red health up as much as possible when this happens. Okay. Okay. That's not as bad as I thought. We're going to switch into Gooby Tooby then. Our accuracy is going to be low, so if we miss, we're probably going to die to Jagged Edges. But we didn't miss, which is very good. Double Slice is going to hurt. Okay, there goes Gooby Tooby. Okay. So... And we're going to switch into this one and use... I thought I had Beast Ball on this one, no? Okay. Air Wall should be fine, though. We're going to we're gonna probably have to play a little defensive here, because we do not want to be on the receiving edge of end on any of its attacks if we can avoid it. Now, it was originally an Ice type, so it likely can break this in one turn, so I have to be careful of that. But what can we do in the meantime? I guess I can play the dodge game, too. Um, it's going to turn back to an ice type this turn anyway, so let's see if I can get the uh, the flinch off. Probably not. And it was able to attack first anyway, so it didn't matter. Alright, uh, it hasn't broken us yet. This is pretty spooky. Uh, Felix getting one shot was not ideal. <laughs> um... I guess I'm just gonna try and get my dodge chance up. Nah, I have the wall for at least one more turn, so let's let's depend on that a bit. What might be best is switching out to Pomadeer on on death and using Pustule Bomb to get more chip damage going. We're, these fusions are rough. Um, I know there's a uh, ability that does 20% of a fusion's HP on creation. Um, that's passive, but that seems kind of mean. Uh, or not even mean, it doesn't seem cool. Oh, here's our win con. If I can Sonic Boom this three times, we win. I don't have any other win types on the team, though, so I have to be mindful that this may or may not work. I'm going to stick to Hurricane for now for the most damage. Thankfully, we have the... Uh... Thankfully, we have the air wall. I'm probably... Oop, it's going to get the attack off before I can... Ooh, that's bad. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this off now if the ad failed. Okay, um... It's probably going to go for the dodge on this turn, so I'm going to try and let the spit happen here. Okay. Uh, we're going to lose to RNG again. <laughs> Man, these Ranger Captain fights are tough. Alright, let's heal up. Alright, it's faster than us, so I don't I don't think I have an answer to this, unfortunately. Uh, losing Felix was uh, losing Felix lost us the match. I think I'm just gonna end up taking the loss here. I wish they had a way to heal back red health. Um, hmm. I like I really don't have a good answer for this. It's just spamming I guess if I had uh yeah, it really just boils down to I needed Felix on the field, and then I needed status ailment damage or uh, taunt. Oh, taunt would taunt would have worked really well here. Okay, 
I've got my plan for when I lose this. But I guess for now, let's let's just try and get damage off. We're gonna we're gonna lose anyway, so I'll just let it happen. I'd rather not waste my materials because I'm gonna lose them anyway. Uh, all right, Pomadier. Let's use Pustle Pustle Bomb and try to at least get the poison going. Unlikely to work, but. Alright, it'll use dodge this turn, so I'm gonna push the bomb again. This is so lame. This is Koga's strategy. And I've notoriously I notoriously have no luck when it comes to uh, any form of RNG battle. But let's see if I can survive this. I cannot. And Fungo watch Fungo oh it doesn't even matter. Okay. Yeah. Well, we lost a whole bunch of stuff again. Oh well. It almost feels as though I should just spend all my resources hey. at this point. Hey, feeling better now? Take it easy out there, Jeff. I don't want you undoing all my hard work so soon again. All right. Welcome. So that's a really annoying strategy. It's just it's RNG, but it really does feel like anything that lowers accuracy and boosts dodge at the same time makes that monster untouchable. So we need we need some answers to that. Goodbye. All right. That or we just need Felix not to die in one hit next time. Also a pretty reasonable strategy. Let's try one more time and then we'll close out the episode. My mistake was that I didn't heal Lotad with the turn that I could heal it with. Oh, looks like we're going to be doing a Rogue Fusion instead and then we'll see if there's anything fancy here. Dandy time and Dandelion. So we're haunted right off to bat. Or is it right off the bat? I've never really <laughs> made sense of that phrase, I guess. It's fine, though. Alright. Yeah, so... Water coating grass types will give them a... Bit of an advantage. But I think we're fine. Because now, if I switch into Gooby Tooby... Um... We'll, we'll, we'll stick to this strategy for now. I was thinking about switching into Gooby Tooby on, on Bonovan rather than Felix. Uh, so that I could get the... Just have it haunted and then it can't be hit and run the risk of getting unit targeted by these guys. But I think we're fine. Oh, you know what? I did not get the lucky switch in with Gooby Tooby. He didn't activate his ability. So... Bonovan's got Mind Meld. Let's swap him out to Fungo. Uh, Fungo will have a bunch of fun if I leave this guy in, so we'll just do our usual routine here, I guess. Or actually, here. Let's go ahead and use Superheated Fist and get this guy chipping down. Unfortunately, it chose the wrong target, but not much we can do since that go out location activates second. Ooh, so Sandstorm, okay, so it didn't get hit by Sandstorm, so Sandstorm will, yeah, there's a unit target. All right, we're switching Gooby Tooby out, and Fungo, I think. Uh, let's switch him back to Bonovin, see if we can roll something strong. And Gooby Tooby will switch to Pombadier for now, because if I can get a Dog Ears off before Bonovin dies, we can extend his life one more turn. Okay, so it does look like Mind Meld lets the passes when you switch out still happen. <laughs> That's funny. Now we have a Ghost Dog. <laughs> this might actually be more to my detriment than anything else, but, uh... Let's have Bonovin switch to Gooby Tooby, and let's have Felix use Dog Ears to extend our timers. Keep us alive for as long as possible and such. And this should do a whole bunch of damage now. Oh, well. Unlucky. <laughs> so much for a whole bunch of damage. Alright. Yeah, I'm still figuring this strategy out. Bonovan's haunt situation may not be as ideal. I guess I could 
try and sack someone in the future. Um, but whatever. Let's switch to Bonovan. Well, I'm starting to see that Haunt probably isn't worth it. It seems to be uh, costing me more than it's benefiting me. No matter. Uh, oh, you know what? This is Dandelion and Sands of Time's fusion, I bet. Alright, let's do another Mind Meld. And we'll have you use a Pustule Bomb to do more damage. Alright, so... <laughs> what a Toxic 69. So it's extending the duration of all of its debuffs, but it's also going to heal more often. Okay, or for longer, but that's fine. I think for now... I could dog ears this, but I think it only extends it by one turn. Let's confirm this, though. Pustule Bomb's damage will add up. So if Felix uses dog ears here, does it extend the timer by one? It does, so I'd have to use it every turn just to survive. But at least we're untouchable, you know? Okay. And I guess if I fuse the two ghosts, they would get an extra turn. But I don't think we need to do that much. Let's just uh, stick to the plan. So, for Bonovan. I'll wait till until these split apart, and then I'll switch out to Fungo to get some extra damage off. So for now, we'll just have both of them use Pustule Bomb. We'll lose, um, we'll lose Pombadier, but it's fine. Uh, cool story. Yeah, that works. Yep. So San I was right. Sansa Time and Dandelion. And we lose Pombadier, but it's fine. Switch out to Fungo, get the water coating off on probably Dandelion, yeah. Cool. So now they're both water types, and we just pulled the Gambit on, on Felix, which is going to make him hurt like a mom, hit like a truck. We'll do the old one too on these guys and try and take them out as quick as possible, and a Toxic Stab for good measure. Oof, yeah that does damage alright. Alrighty, so, not the cleanest fight. Uh, maybe I should rethink how I'm using Bonovins. Uh, oh, hey, we just pulled a random starter. Nice. Okay, that's, that's pretty big. I didn't know Fungo could uh, equip, get those, so um, that's a pretty big thing. Win, win a battle while well, Gambit is active. Quest complete. Fusion bounty. Cool. Okay. So, I think, unfortunately, due to that, we'll have to heal again. So this has a campfire pretty close to a fast travel point, so that's where we'll go. But I think unfortunately I'm gonna have to end the episode here just because uh it's gonna be a really long one if I go and fight have a rematch against Gladiola, so let's go heal. And then in the next one we'll take her on. With all that said, let's just see if we get one last bit of dialogue with Felix. Hmm. Maybe I should start documenting more of the monsters on this island in my notebook. Maybe if I get to go home, I can use my notes as proof that I really was on an island populated by monsters. Though I suspect my chances of anyone believing me are slim to none. Yeah, I'd agree. Alright. So, yeah, in the next one, we'll, we'll try and take on Gladiola with the same strategy as before, but this time, what I'll do is I'll also use Pombadier to taunt her. So maybe what I do is... Hmm... Now, I think what I'll do is I'll lead with Fungo and Gooby Tooby and just try and get as much damage off in the, at the start as possible so that they're conductive. Um, it does look like if you miss, you don't get the conductive damage with electric types, so the big things are I need to keep the taunt up as much as possible and probably spam Beast Wall. So I think Deja Vu, Beast Wall, and Taunt are going to be my big win uh, winners for that. And then using Rewinds to heal back HP as I need. They have double slice though, so they'll break Beast Wall pretty quick, so maybe that's not ideal. Uh, I think there's a way around this, but it'll take some doing. With all that said though, Kiwi, uh, that's me mentally strategizing, but we'll, we'll see what you put to practice in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed watching if you're awake, and if you are awake, I hope you're, it's helping you fall asleep. If you're sleeping, I hope you're sleeping well. I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye.